Hello, I'm Joe Bosco. I'm the expert teacher of putting, short game, and playing lessons out at the Glen Club in Glenview, Illinois. Imagine you've put yourself in position to hit a short or mid iron into a green. Let's give you better odds at hitting these shots more solidly and with greater accuracy. First and foremost, do you really know how far your irons carry in the air on average? Most amateurs don't. Instead, many of you have what you think is your 150 yard club, etc., and then base the rest of your shots off that. The tour players and top amateurs don't guess at this stuff. They really know. They know their average carry distance with a smooth swing with each iron. And they also know their average carry distance when they try to maximize their power or distance. Keep a scorecard record of your carry distances after hitting solid shots. This will enable you to know how far the ball will fly depending on the club selection that day. Find a teaching pro who has a TrackMan radar monitor like I have that you can conduct a Know Your Distance service with to know the average distance with each of the clubs in your bag. It's especially vital for your approach irons and wedges. Okay, two quick tips for better ball contact. More often than not, players mess up with their iron shots for two reasons. Either too much arm tension or poor posture both at address and dynamically through their swing. First tip, remove your thumb and forefinger drill. To reduce hand and arm swing tension, once you've set up to the ball, I want you to take your lower hand and literally remove your thumb and index finger from touching the club grip at all. That's right, let them flap in the air. Do your best to make them relaxed and soft. You may feel like you have no control now, and that's good. Make a healthy dose of practice swings this way. Then let some balls get in the way. Once you overcome the weird feeling, don't be surprised if you end up seeing great solid and straight shots begin to sail. The second tip is the Joe Bosco Dynamic Posture Pivot Drill. This one is the best year-round and round-to-round -round drill you can do, and it doesn't require hitting a golf ball at all, so you can do it anywhere at any time. Take a club and put it across the tips of your shoulders, holding it there with your hands, arms crossed, and relaxed on your chest. Get into your best golf posture and gaze down at a ball or where the ball would be. Notice your posture and the tilt of your spine as you are bent from your hip joints. Now slowly make your backswing pivot until you've made a full swing motion back. Stay in your best balance and breathe. Is your spine in the same angle or tilt that it started in? Or has your spine become more erect or tilted more? If you get in front of a mirror, it will be easier to measure this. Again, is your spine still similarly tilted or have you stood up or leaned back? Are you in great balance? As I say to every student, you will never graduate from this drill. Doing this several dozen times a day will take you less than two minutes. And if you want to be more consistent, this drill will help you to get there. And it is so simple to do. For Crane Chicago Business, I'm Joe Bosco at the Glenn Club.